and welcome to the special insane edition of Larissa's Kitchen. I'm making habanero extract, which falls under the category of don't try this at home. If you do decide to try this at home, don't eat these peppers, and for the love of God, don't drink the Everclear. It's 190 proof. It's got multiple caution tip warnings on it that say it's both flammable and explosive, and if consumed in excess, will be detrimental to your health. And by detrimental to your health, they mean it will kill you. This is an extract, not a sauce, so we will not be sprinkling it on our potato chips to eat as a snack, we're not going to use it to season a bowl of soup, and we're certainly not adding it to a Bloody Mary to liven it up. A little goes a long way. This extract will be used to create heat and not flavor. We're not going to need any special gear, but you may need one piece that you dedicate to making extracts. Now that of course is a blender. This is my go-to blender and I love it, but it's got two problems. It's plastic, and that will forever hold the spiciness of the habaneros, and the base doesn't detach from the crop. So I bought this incredibly cheap-ass blender from Target for about $17. Now it's plastic too, but it doesn't matter, because all we need is the base and the motor. I'll also be wearing two pairs of plastic gloves, and I've got this glass half-gallon mason jar. We want to use glass and stainless steel, not plastic and aluminum. This is why we use this cheap ass blender, because this base fits perfectly on this half gallon mason jar. We'll be able to blend and age in the same jar so we don't have to worry about splashing anything when we transfer. I'm using a flexible cutting mat to cut these on. Whatever you use should probably be considered disposable, so don't use anything nice. We're going to take the top off and then quarter these. Then this is going in our jar. We need to pulp our habaneros, and to do that we're going to need just a little bit of water. So I've got about a half cup here. I'm going to add this in and then lid this all up. Now I may need to take this off and shake it while it's blending. Okay, I had to add another about half cup of water to help this pulp. So now we want to do even amounts of habaneros and Everclear. So I'm going to estimate, because I had about a cup in there, probably about two cups of pulp. So I'm just going to fill this up to about three quarters full. And I have not exploded yet. Okay, that looks good. Okay, we'll recap this and I'm going to blend it one more time. the habaneros are alcohol soluble. That's why we need the pure grain spirits to form this extract. We're going to let this sit on the counter for about four to five days. After that, it's getting strained through a fine mesh strainer lined with a few layers of cheesecloth. We don't want any of this pulp in our final extract. We want to evaporate a little bit of this Everclear, so we're going to strain this pulp. Mm, it smells fruity and hot. And like alcohol. Once this is completely strained, we're just going to cover this 8 cup measuring cup with a little bit of cheesecloth. We want some of this alcohol to evaporate, but we don't want anything to get in there. And we need to put this somewhere safe. This has been evaporating for about three and a half days. I had a small dust fan blowing across the top of it to aid in evaporation. We started with four cups of liquid and we're down to a little over two and a half. 
Now there is a considerable amount of sediment still in here, so I'm gonna strain it one more time through a paper coffee filter. And again, we have glass and stainless steel, no plastic and no aluminum. We need to be very careful when we're doing this too. We still have about two and a half cups of our extract. Most of that sediment was very fine and made it through the coffee filter. That picked up some of the pulp that didn't get through in the first straining. Now I can't stress to you enough that this is not a sauce, it is an extract, which is why it's getting bottled in these little one ounce bottles with an eyedropper to dispense it. We'll only use about half a dropper for a full pot of soup or a full pot of chili. All we have left to do is bottle it, but first, I'm gonna give it a taste so that you don't have to. Just standing here, this is burning my eyes, so I'm a little bit frightened at my prospects. Now, I do have ice cold milk here because I know this is gonna be extraordinarily hot. Glass, just a tiny amount. Oh God, woo! Okay, pure heat. No flavor, oh my God. Burning my throat and my tongue and it just keeps building. Okay, I gotta have milk. Don't do that. Oh God, it's still burning so much. Just a few closing thoughts, now that I've had a moment to collect myself and I'm no longer in danger of having a coughing fit or instant hiccups. This is not nearly as explosively hot as I thought it was going to be. I was afraid I wasn't even going to be able to taste it without suffering extreme pain. Now all that being said, this is still very hot. I spilled a drop of it on my hand and it burned for several hours. So use extreme caution if you're going to use something like this. I do have plans to make another batch of this but I'm not gonna use water to pulp it. I'm just gonna use the Everclear and I'm not gonna strain it. I'm gonna leave the pulp in through the entire evaporation process. I'm also not just using habaneros. I'll be including ghost peppers and Carolina Reapers. Now, none of this is gonna be able to happen until the next growing season. So for that video, you're gonna have to wait. We're so glad you stopped by our kitchen. If you enjoyed this video, give the like button a click and don't forget to leave a comment. We're always happy to hear from you. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and don't keep us a secret. Share our videos with your friends and family and keep up with us on Twitter and Facebook for upcoming videos and the random cat picture.